Hello everyone, welcome to getting started video series for Telerik Test Studio. In this video, we're going to learn about how Test Studio uses optical character recognition to convert images into text so that we can verify images on our website. We are also going to check out how you can use coded steps in Test Studio. We are going to use this OCR sample test to perform coded step. You can add coded step for any verification step, but we are going to use OCR sample test for this. And then I'm going to talk about how you can integrate Test Studio with your Visual Studio so that if you want to write your tests in uh, Visual Studio, this is something that you can do too. For OCR test demo, I would like to verify if the text in this image contains either the word progress or Telerik. For that, I've already added an empty test in my test studio. I'm going to right click on it and click on record. To add the OCS step, I'm going to select the highlighting option from the toolbar and hover over the image that I would like to verify. Here, I'm going to add a quick step, which is going to be verify text with OCR from element image. Once I click on it, then it will add a step in my test studio. I'm going to close the browser to stop the recording. And the step that it added is to match the text, which is BNI colon Telric. I know it's not perfect, but it depends on the font that you're using on that image. I'm going to remove the word BNI colon because it doesn't make sense. And the compare type is contained, so this should just work out fine. Now I'm going to run this test to verify if that image contains the word Telric or not. Telric Studio will run all the steps and it will verify that the text in that image does contain Telric. That's the reason why it passed all our steps. You can also check part of the text in the image too by locating that image in the DOM. Let's try to do that. For that, I'm going to delete the steps and record a new test. Now, instead of adding a quick step, I'm going to locate this image in the DOM. It will open advanced recording tool and it will select the image that we would like to verify. I'm going to go to this element steps panel and in verifications panel, we have this text from image section. Here, I would like to verify this progress part. I'm going to uncheck the OCR entire image checkbox and only select this part of the image and we'll try to extract the text from that part of the image. Once I click on extract, then you can see that it brings up this progress word and here the compare type I would like to select as contains so that it can only check the word progress in the entire text which is getting extracted. And then I'm going to click on add step, which will add the step in my test studio. If I go back to my test studio, you can see that word getting added in our step. So you can also try to get the text from the image from part of its image. Let's try to perform the same test that we performed in the last section to verify if the word progress contains in the image or not. But this time we are going to use coded step for that. To add coded step in our test, we'll have to go to our step builder and select common. And in common, we have this coded step option. I'm going to select that and click on add step. This is going to ask you the language that you'd like to use to write your coded step. I've already selected C sharp, so it's going to add a C sharp file in my test. You can see this file getting added under our test and it's going to add a function which will be named as 
the name of the test and it's going to add coded step in front of it. And this function is going to get mapped to the step that we just added. So whatever we write in this function is going to get executed whenever we run this test. Let's write some code in this function so that it can perform that step. I'm going to add some code here, which is going to look like this. This code is going to go through some steps to get the image and then get the text from that image and it's going to verify if that text contains the word progress or not. Let's go through these lines one by one. So the first line is to refreshing the DOM tree. The second line is to get the image by its ID. So if you go to your browser, you can see the ID of that image, which is profile picture image. So we are getting that image. We're making sure that image is not null. And then we are getting the base path of that file wherever that image is located in the application you can keep this string somewhere in the common location i added this here so that i could explain how it works and then the base path plus the profile picture source path of that profile picture is going to give us the whole path of the image and we can get the text from that image by calling this function now this function is in Telric Test Studio OCR OCR Manager class, and we'll have to add this package in our project so that we could use this function. To add this reference, we'll have to go to our project settings and go to scripts. And here you can see the references which are already added. And I've added a reference which is Telric Test Studio dot OCR and it's located under the path wherever you have installed your test studio on your machine. You can click on this add reference button to add that DLL. Once you've added that, then you can use that function, which will give you the text. I'm converting that text into lowercase and then I'm comparing it with the word progress to make sure that it does contain the word progress in it. Let's compile our code and make sure that it's getting compiled. It will give you errors if your code contains some compile time errors. Now we have saved our code and we have saved our steps in our test. Let's run this to verify if it's going to contain the word progress in our image or not. Our test is working fine. It will go through this function and it will get the image, get the text from the image and the text in the image does contain the word progress. And that's the reason why our test is passing now. So this is how you can add coded steps in your test studio. You can use Visual Studio for running and recording your test too. For that, you'll have to install Telric's Test Studio's extension for your Visual Studio. I've already done that and that's the reason why I can see this test. You can add a project in your solution by creating a new project and looking up for Telric and the Telric Test Studio for C Sharp or Visual Basic will pop up here. I've already added this project in my solution and I've added my steps here. And that's the reason why I could record and run these tests. If you want to write your coded steps in Visual Studio, you can do that too. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, you can post those questions in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on my Twitter handle, or you can send me an email at curiousdrive at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. Bye.